All right, halfway house. It is Sunday about noon. Got the G56 going to my 07 Hemi today, in theory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, well, here's all the parts I've gathered in the last year and a half or so. So I need to uh, get all this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna pull the seats. I'm gonna completely pull the vinyl floor um, so I can pressure wash all that. And uh, the holes for the bolts and the shifter boot are marked on the sheet metal. So makes life easy to, to do. I've never swapped a half ton, but um, I have six speed swapped a, a one ton dually Cummins truck. So uh, not too difficult, but uh, let's get going. Oh yeah, here's the motor all cleaned up. Still got a little bit more stuff to replace and clean and obviously a lot more work to do, but uh, it's looking pretty good. All right, I got the interior out. Luckily we're here in Texas and no salted roads, no snow. So this thing's super solid as I expected. So here's the boot. See, it's got these, you know, hold downs and uh, so I lined it up so it looks like it's going right here. So these are where all the screw holes are. So I'm about to cut this uh, square out with uh, this handy dandy. Got the compressor going in there. And uh, once I get this cut out, I think I'm ready. Uh, well, I gotta put the clutch and stuff on still, but uh, then I'll be ready to stab this trans and get her test fit in there. And uh, hopefully, make something uh, work easily with the motor mounts I do have, so wish me luck. All right, halfway house, we got the transmission in there. Need to cut the hole a little bit bigger, hopefully a little bit cleaner. Uh, got my shifter, got this uh, back panel that goes right there. We got the console cup holder deal here. And the only thing I'm really missing is the, uh, the plastics for the shifter delete, but that can come later. Um, what else? I got a 03 to 06 48 mount a little bit closer here And as you can see it misses the cross member barely So I'm gonna build a you know a little cliffhanger off there and uh, Just bolt it like that. That's what I did on my star chief my 59 star chief for my Muncie swap and uh, I don't see anything wrong with that probably put a gusset on it on each side, but uh It's in there sitting at about four degrees or five degrees something like that so i'm hoping the plate i use doesn't you know drop it much more than that but uh i kind of like it where it's at but obviously i'm gonna have to build something i guess i could weld the plate directly to that deal so i don't have to go above it yeah actually that's a good idea so uh anyway here she is i'm gonna start cutting on this floor some more and i'd like to get the interior back in Clean up my vinyl floor. Still in pretty good shape, just dirty. Um, clean up the seats. I'd like to get all that shit done today, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna keep rocking and rolling. Swing and banging. All right, I got the whole cut. Much better cut there. Not perfect, but it's good enough. So uh, I'm gonna start putting the floor back together and uh, get the uh, console and this boot and everything back on there. So. Hell yeah. Ah yes, good news. Lots of synchro material and lots of metal flake. That's what you like to see when you pull the drain plug on a transit you've had sitting around for four years, so I'm getting a little discouraged, but I'm gonna check this fluid once it's done draining. We'll see what we got there. I don't know how well you can see this. Pretty good amount of glitter. No chunks though, so keep on cruising. Got the shifter in there. Got this thing soaking. I'm about to hit it with the pressure washer. Clean this up and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and armor all it and shit and put that back in and then uh, put my back tray back in. I'll probably hold off on the seats. But uh, I'm gonna probably gonna start working on the pedals too before I get the vinyl back in there. So uh, get to it. All right, I got the pedals in. Got the rest of the floor cleaned up. Actually pretty damn nice. So yes, you can get these pedals in without pulling that whole bracket, but that one you have to, I mean, this HVAC box is like two millimeters in the way. So I just take a pry bar and just gently push it and then that pin slides right out. This side's easy to get in, plenty of room. I do remember in my 06 Cummins, it was a G56, I heated this bend up and straightened it out because uh, I think this is going to be too low, but uh, we'll see when we get the interior back in. Um, I did get the bracket in for... Um, the bracket in for the, the master cylinder for the clutch so I can get rid of all this crap finally but uh 
Timmy, hell yeah. All right, got all the flooring in, waiting on the detail guy to show up, but kind of test fit all the column shit, make sure it's all gonna work, it's all good. Got the floor back in, shifter, console, all together. Seats uh, semi-detailed. I told the guy not to really worry about it because I think I'm just going to go ahead and replace these. I mean, I got, you know, never smoked a cigarette in my fucking life. Got cigarette burns over here in the passenger seat, of course. That one's kind of worn out. Kind of dirty. This is worn out. And I was like, eh, don't spend too much time on it. But uh looks a million times better than it did. So, pretty sweet. And keep on cruising. Keep on cruising. Triple pedals, man. I need to fish these rocks out of these little grooves, but need to put the hydraulics in. Uh, I'll probably get that done tonight. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So that's a uh, fourth gear. So on my 06, I did have to heat this up and bend it. So um, still some work to be done, but we're a lot closer. Need to order the boot, but uh, hell yeah. All right, halfway house. Made a little bit of progress, but uh, it's been raining off and on and i've been sick for the last week so uh i did order the column pieces twice and i was refunded my money both times one was from some mopar online crap and one was ebay so i guess they just keep listing them even though they're not in stock i don't know might have to go straight to dodge for that one did get my boot on order and it was seriously the boot only not the bracket that forks under there and then snaps in back here so that didn't work out this, um, everything I could tell, this was supposed to be the right one for the G56, but uh, this appears to be the same one as I had for the 545R, RE, RFE, whatever it is. That mount, I do believe, is going to work. That's a 48RE mount, and this does appear to be the correct lower dust shield for the G56 to uh, Hemi, so that's good. So, I'm going to try to order that again, I guess, or call around and try to find that stuff, but uh, uh, never mind the big green Ford in the driveway. So... That's just kind of a recap where I'm at. Um, when it dries up, I'm going to fab this up um, to the cross member. So uh, get back on this, and I'll see y'all later.